To become a better leader of tomorrow in just a short amount of time, subscribe to our Rajmani Cliff channel. What do you feel like? How is? What do you understand about Indian consumers? Like, give us some consumer insight which you feel like, oh, Indians are different in this way. If I'm an entrepreneur, is there something I should know about India very well? Or something yeah, that you've noticed? Yeah, I think there's noticed. a very diversity, diversity of culture, diversity of needs, diversity of spending, and I think you can look at that in the largest common denominator. You can look at it in the top of the pinnacle. There's so many different markets that you can play with here, both from a taste point of view, consumption point of view. Uh, ethnic point of view, habits point of view, family values, values point of view, a patriarchal society versus a matriarchal society versus just a very democratic society. The whole younger generation. This to me, this thing of tomorrow is better than yesterday. Psychology is a very, very haunting one. To me, it's it's, it's haunting. Well, I like the word haunting because it's like you know. It, then there's it's in the room. It's mm. omnipresent, and you should. It's something you need to take into account because when you have that sentiment, and if you can create that sentiment, it's a it's a mind it's a mindset change moment. If you do believe that, mm. and it's something for you to introspect. Do I really believe tomorrow is better than yesterday? Every day tomorrow is going to be better than yesterday. Okay, and that if you look at it, it sounds like a, just a nice, simple, firmly optimistic mm. believing sentence. But you need to actually change your mind and believe in that, and you'll find behavioral patterns in a very different manner. Your answer to work-life balance will change. Your answer to so many other things that you angst are angst about may go away. What do you look in a movie before you invest in it? So, firstly, I don't think I, I, if I have an investment mindset, I'll, I'll crash and burn. What kind of movies you create? You feel yeah, like, oh, so this is going to work I, in a movie. I think I understand consumers, and I keep wanting to understand consumers in a different manner. Mm -hmm. Number one, number two, I want to be true to storytelling in the way I want to necessarily do it. Because what I, is that like? What do you understand about consumers? Like, yeah. So obviously, today more than ever before, outside of the fact that this is an entertainment sector, I think people definitely want a certain sense of context and a certain sense of realism. So I think the movies we've made versus see, I came from the outsider. So being an mm -hmm. outsider. To me, the song, dance, family approach, and you know everything goes, and either that or the dishung dishung, or just hardcore nonsensical, but it works. Mm. You know, hardcore, leave your brains behind. Yeah. I I, did, I can't relate with that. I wouldn't be able to make it better. I'd only make it worse. So I stayed out of it. So then, therefore, from my early days, whether it was Swades or whether it was Rangde Basanti, those were the breakout stories that appealed to me. Right, and I guess maybe to that extent, in those early days, I do believe that I was part of the formula that allowed it to happen. Maybe mm. if I hadn't backed it, maybe somebody else would not have backed it, and therefore it may not have happened. But being the outsider gave you the sense that if I stay with my values, now I was not doing it saying I want to talk about an audience that I don't know exists. I don't make movies myself because if I did, I would not make ninety nine percent of the movies that I would make because what I want to yeah. see if I want relaxing versus what I want to see from what I want to do as a passion are two different things. So to me, I think getting the message across, having a sense of realism, that doesn't mean that everyone should do that. But I'm saying there's so many people doing the other stuff in any case that one more person doing that doesn't make any sense. So that's my way of storytelling. Now, when I was running it as a business. To what I'm doing today with RSVP as a passion are two different things, and the mm -hmm. reason is when you're running a business, 50, 60 percent of your decisions are what you have to do, yeah, and 40 percent what you want to do. When you're doing it as a passion, 100 percent better be what you want to do and nothing that you have to do because it's a passion. Yeah, you don't have to it's do. It's fun. Don't have yeah. to get up in the morning and play golf. You don't have to go to the squash court. You don't have to play chess or whatever else you want to do. So that is a very liberating sense of being able to then do what you want to do because you can say no 99 times. When you're running a business, you can't say no 99 times. A lot of people are doing what they used to do in Bollywood, and do you feel that's the reason why it's struggling right now, or because, or is it just because of OTT and the South cinema has gotten no, like super no, successful? Like no, no. South cinema reason? has always been around and they tell great stories. Yeah, but and they there just, is they're just looking much better and shining much better because of the simple reason that they're doing exactly what they were doing and staying focusing on it, innovating and doing it better. Hmm. So yes, I think here because there's you you talked about like sense of realism, right? Like in so South I don't want to be judgmental, but I think we've taken our audience for granted here, and I think that's the problem. Right, and we haven't made the change. And even the main problem is when you're an insular industry, and I'm not saying we necessarily are, and I don't mm. want to be critical because I'm very much part of it. And I'm very proud of it because the creative industry does have a strong impact. Yeah. But when you're insular and when you're clannish, 
you just say the same thing again and when you're f- you're with people who finish the sentence for you it's the most dangerous place to be in because if every meeting if somebody can finish the sentence for you you're going out saying see what a what a culture what a we are so nice we're all we all so hum- uh sorry but where's the diversity and what's going on outside and how do you going to figure this part out and who's going to challenge you and then you're then you're in your own world and you're in la la land fun you're in your own world then you're in a la la land and then you're irrelevant mm-hmm. it, it's not because of ott or the world or it's it's just about we're not being do, do, those very kind of changes, changes will be there in any case but thank god for ott right thank god for ott because the simple reason that good creative people are getting an opportunity to write even better scripts for a much wider audience and what you've done is now an audience has actually got used to a different le- level and of of storytelling mm-hmm. and now finds it very difficult to just be in suspension of reality or look at a star because the context of star and actor and larger than life has also changed for a lot of people right i mean in the younger generation complete iconic situations are very different mm. a 20 million uh you know a uh, tiktok view a viewer is is a very different than 20 millions of twitter with an actor thank you so much for watching this clip till the end for more such amazing insightful clips please subscribe to our channel